you're selling, we're not buying, all right? Yeah, what he said. Come on in. I'm Sean Drover Megadeth. This is my buddy Chris Broderick. And you are on, go ahead. Huh? Huh? I don't know. Oh, got it. The Chris Broderick experience. <laughs> Look, you're on our tour bus. This is our home away from home. We're probably the cleanest band in the history of heavy metal. I'll go on record saying that. Well kept band, we don't uh, make a big mess. That's um, it's like having six people in your bedroom making a huge mess after a while with uh, accumulate and stink and uh, probably wouldn't be real cool, so. After that time, you'd be ready to kill each other, so. Get your smelly socks out of my face. Yeah, a big part actually of being on tour and sharing a bus or, or what have you is respecting each other with all that. That's the little things that can accumulate into big things over the course of time, you know? So we, we've been doing this for so long, obviously you learn how to respect how everybody else kind of can join and make sure we have a clean bus. Let's see what we have in this bus. Who do we have? Oh, that's a really important we got the towels. We have towels. Check this out. We have white towels, blue towels. Check this towel out, Chris. Oh, This I, towel is really cool. I love that. It towel. has white, orange, brown, then it has white again. Dude, that is that's so that's tripped awesome. out, dude. Oh! Chips, chips, and more chips. One thing, just so you know, the color of the bag does not indicate the color of the chips. So these really are not purple chips or blue chips or yellow chips. They're no, 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 those are yellow chips. That's right, they are yellow chips. Yeah. So if it's yellow bag, you'll get yellow chips, so. All right, more snacks, various stuff. Let's not even be talking about the yeah. with you. I don't even, let's not even talk here's, about here's that. Here's the real deal. Captain, he's my friend. Whenever uh, I need like, a sweet snack, he's the man I go to. Of course we have reinforcements. In case Chris does eat all the Captain Crunch, we have more Captain Crunch. That's so right. we have two Captain Crunches and we have Cinnamon Life, which is a great cereal. Frosted Flakes of Corn. The thing about Frosted Flakes of Corn, if you want to come over here real quick, I'm still kind of confused about it. When I was growing up, it said Frosted Flakes, and he said they're great. Now it says Frosted Flakes of Corn. So are they two different cereals, or are they one cereal with a different name? To be determined. Just, just eat them, Sean. I'm not gonna eat them. In our refrigerator, stocked with a ton of drinks. The main thing that we end up hitting is usually the lunch meats and stuff like that. If you look at the fridge though, look how well everything is kept and organized. Yeah, yeah, look at that. And when you it's wake up like at three in the morning and you want a can of dried ginger ale, you're half asleep, you don't want to be going, oh. And then you grab a Red Bull and you shotgun and you're awake for like nine days. That's not cool. You did that, by the way. I did. You did that? <laughs> that freezer, hold on, we've got very important uh, fucking dogs. <laughs> and we have the one with almonds and one without almonds. We try to keep it simple. A lot of we really have meetings in here and do a lot of cool stuff. This is the bathroom. Yeah. Well kept bathroom as you can see. Yeah. So this obviously is a very important drawer for Chris and David Allison. Got the coffee. Educated coffee drinkers, they drink it constantly. Several different roasts. We have the Sinatra roast, Frank Sinatra, Sinatra roast. Which he makes great coffee. Makes great coffee. With our French roast, what else do we have? Here's a good one, decaf. I don't know why anybody drinks that, but whatever. Just some peanut butter, some cups, glasses. Essentials that you would need, right? The bus is pretty well stocked, actually. Kind of amazing, you know, coming up from doing band tours all the way to this is like almost nice living in comparison. This is where we sleep. We do a lot of sleeping in these bunks. So this is a bunk. And it has a guitar in it. A lot of people have wondered over the years, does Chris it's actually sleep with his guitar? Sleeping. Now the answer has been revealed. Sorry, Chris. Pretty much the same for all of us. We have great bunks. We have actually a lot of buses have three bunks per, you know, call them, they're called condo bunks. We just have two. So it makes for a lot of room. You don't have that whole claustrophobic thing happening. So this really is, no, honestly, this is a great, it's great to have a nice bus because yeah. ultimately you spend so many, you sleep on it at night, you spend so many hours on it. A day like today when it's excruciatingly hot outside, you want to have nice cold air conditioning as you can feel in here. All these things, we don't take it for granted, believe me. We're, you know, we're Definitely glad that we appreciate it. You notice all the room we got. So this side slides out. Yeah, if you look, if you look over here, this we can see where it ends. When when we leave, we travel. This comes into this spot right here, where a lot of buses don't have that at all. There is no uh, extension that goes out. So actually, there's one in the in the back, back of the bus too. too as well. So yeah, that's another extravagance, as it were, I guess. You know, having on the bus. So it's uh, it makes for a very comfortable living for us out here. We we tour a lot. We're out in the road probably about a good seven months out of the year, give or take. When you get to be our age, being comfortable and getting a lot of sleep is, is paramount to a great show. It all comes back to traveling comfortably on this bus and we're, we're glad to have such a great bus. 
And here, of course, we have the entertainment section of the bus, which has a satellite television. We get there's 900 channels we get on here. We have Direct TV, so you get pretty much anything you could ever want. Again, another something that we didn't have 15, 20 years ago. Back in the day, you had a, maybe you had a small TV with a with a VCR in it if you were lucky. So I mean, this is something that we're fortunate to have. A lot, a lot of the new, obviously, the new buses have it. But I usually watch VH1 Classic. It's got a lot of cool metal stuff on. Actually, it's, there's stuff on right now. It's a commercial, but nine times out of ten, you'll see me watching something like that, or the NFL Channel, or actually the Food Network. I like to watch Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives a lot, which is a, which is a show I really like to watch on the road. Actually, try to actually watch it if we're into town. We actually have an episode on there. We'll. Some of us in the crew and band will try to go and, and seek out those places and stuff. It just passes the time, and again, you know, it's, it's good that we have this kind of entertainment. We get a movies and all that crap, too. There's never a shortage of things to do. Here's another thing that's really, that we haven't really talked about, is we have internet. Something we didn't have years ago, so we can all connect with the families or with email or whatever we want to do on the World Wide Web on the, as we're traveling on the bus. Finally, the thing about this bus, if you notice, there's different kinds of furnishings and stuff like that. They kind of went with a the theme on this bus. And if you look over here, four leaf, well, I guess it's a three leaf clover, but it should be a four leaf clover. This bus is called the Lucky Charm Bus. I think everybody that, that rents it kind of knows it as that. And it's themed in all of this kind of like good luck Irish kind of uh, memorabilia. So hopefully it brings us some luck, right? That's <laughs> so far. Yeah, it's really cool. It's got a crazy chandelier and some more Irish furnishings back there. And uh, yeah, are we done yet so we can party? Yeah, dude. Get out of here. Get off our freaking bus, man. Seriously, you're being gracious. Man. Get the bleep out of our bus, dude. Seriously, I'm gonna yeah. bust Don't somebody's head open with a something. <laughs> Bye guys, seriously, we appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Sean Jordan Megadeth. Best product. Be good. Talk to you later.